what are you making of um Hoyland that's been linked to to United, bro? Personally, I like I like the look of him in it. I like I like the profile of player he is. I think he's got the fundamentals. Do I think he's worth some of the money that he's been touted for? Absolutely not. But I think he'll be decent. But I would even if I sign him, I'm still looking at another striker. With with Hoyland, I'll be real. When it was 45 million euros, I was like, I'm in. Like, mm. I'm there. But now I'm hearing 65 to 85. And I'm thinking, all right, cool. Like, the potential is there. But I'll be real. Like, I've always said, when it comes to potential signings, man's not trying to pay more than 30, 40 max. Like, because potential can go sideways. Yeah. You know, like, like I, I always like say, like, for example, when, when Brighton looked at Caicedo's potential, they paid four million for man. When they looked at McAllister's potential, they paid just under two million for man. Or like City, when they saw Alvarez's potential at River Plate, they paid what? I think it was like 15 million. I might be wrong, 15, 20 million. Mm. United paying 60 M's on potential. Fam, that don't sit right with me. But I'll be real. Like the thing I like about him the most is he's got that striker's instincts. And that's something yeah. that we haven't had in this team for years. Like I saw the, I've never watched him play. I'll be real. I just saw the compilations, but yeah, even the goals, they're scruffy. They're like back post, this and that, bro. The amount of times I see this United team across is fizzed in and there's just nobody there gambling. And I'll be real. Mm. We scored so many of those goals throughout a season, but I like him, but I'll be real. It all depends on the price tag. Like man's not trying to pay AEMs for him. Yeah, not at all. But that's the thing. He has got the striker's instincts and it's the variety of goals he scores. Like you said, he scores the scruffy ones. Right mm. foot, left foot, header. He'll score them goals where he's rolling defenders, swiveling, getting shots off, 1v1s. Like, his finishing his finishing package is up there, isn't it? Even though, like, as a finisher, he still needs to improve a lot. But there's a lot of variety in his goals. When I look at forwards and their compilations, yeah, that's the one thing I look for is variety. Because if finishers don't have variety in their goals, then they could possibly be better suited to playing in certain um, systems. When when you can finish and you've got a variety, when you've got a deep bag, when it comes to finishing, you can play in any team. Do you know what I'm saying? And this guy, in and around the box, he comes to life, isn't it? So I'm taking him, but I think you're right. Like nothing more than I'd say 40 M's, 40 million pounds. Mm. Yeah, is 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 right, bruv. Anything more than that, man, I get him bumped, fam. We are getting bumped. Mm. And the thing is, people are saying, oh, Bayern's in for him and all of that. The fact that us and Bayern are in for the same striker, yeah, and he's not even an elite-level striker tells you the state of the market right now. Because there's no one. Like, like, Benzema's retired now, and now all of a sudden, it's like, bro, it's Mbappe or bust for Real Madrid. Or the, the man signed Hossolu, blood. What the fuck is that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> That's banter. Like, bro, man was having this um, conversation with Saeed today. I said to him, I said, the reason why I never watched the game yesterday, the Spanish game, how the fuck, yeah, is, is fucking Jesus and Navas, bro, starting for Spain in 2023? When he was in his prime, he couldn't get in the team, you know? And that tells you how shit football is, that this brother is playing for Spain now when he's washed, but when he was in his prime, he couldn't get in the team because it was too competitive, you know, like that. And that tells you the way football has declined over the years to the point where he's become more valuable as he's gotten older, that doesn't happen in football. Yeah, nah, especially especially when you bear in mind, like, I didn't watch the game, but I'm just assuming he played right back because that's yeah, where he, he did. Plays for, that's where yeah, he plays, that's where he plays now, yeah. So, no, 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 it does. It says a lot, but at the same time, it says a lot about Spain, I'll be real. Like, that man mm. have got a massive right back problem because it's like mm. Carver Howe or my man, and I'll be real, like, both of them, both of them need to be moved on. Mm. But nah, that Hosselu, bro, like, I was even, I had a stream yesterday and it's like with a Madrid uh, fan and I was like, yo, like, no cap. If Mandem don't sign a striker and you're going into the season with Hosolu Mbappe, sorry, Hosolu, Vinny and Rodrigo, if you man get shagged in the pots in Champions League, don't be surprised if you're playing Thursday nights. I swear. <laughs> Bro, like you have, you have to bear in mind, like so many men brush that under the carpet, yeah, but I'll, I'll be real, like. They've just let go of their striker that's bagged, that's been top goal scorer for the past five years. Benzema's mm. been their top goal scorer for the past five years. And everybody saw this year how they dropped off once Benzema started to get some injuries because Benzema's had a lot of injuries this year. Mm. And you saw how it affected Vinny at times, Rodrigo, Cruz and Modric, ages catching up to them. 
fam, if you go get rid of a nine, that's so important. Like Benzema always says, one of those types of strikers where you don't play for Benzema, but Benzema plays for the team. You get rid of a striker like that. And I don't know nothing about that hustle, bro. Like, if anything, for me, he looks like a fox in the box. Yeah. Like, there might be a drop off in Vinny's performances next year or Rodrigo's. Yeah. And then what? Benzema's the link man, bro. Like, people underestimate, yeah, how much Benzema brings out of his teammates, innit? Like, people just look at the goals he scores, but the positions he picks up, the selfless running he does, and all of these things, and the way he actually takes, he occupies players with his movement and takes players out of the picture to make space for Vinny, to make space for Rodrigo and other players like that. Like, they're going to miss that. They're really mm. going to miss that. So it's one of them things where, like like someone said, same with Harry Kane, yeah? If Harry Kane was to leave Spurs, you're not just losing his goals. You're losing his link play. You're, you're losing his movement. You're losing the space that he occupies and the space that he actually creates on the pitch for other players. You're losing more than just the goals, bro. Mm, nah, that's, that's, that's exactly what it is. So it's like... I think Benzema even caught everybody by surprise. I'll be it even caught me by surprise. I was like, bro, I reckon he does one more year whilst they mm. wait for Mbappe. But I'll be real, bro. Like, them man got bread. Like, in the past three seasons, they've made a net profit. Like, they've bought man, but they've continued to sell. So it's like, it's not even a case of FFP is onto them or they've spent ridiculously in the past. But them man are making profits and the bread is there. It's just, I'll be real, go for Mbappe now. Because... I actually think next year, like, I, I, like this is the question I always ask to any Madrid fan. I'm like, there's no guarantee. Like, there's no contract. There's no pen and paper signature that says Mbappe will sign for you, man, in 2024. It's football. Mm. Any, anything mm. can happen. I wouldn't be surprised if Qatar are, like, already bending over for my man. I wouldn't be surprised if they give him a ridiculous thing next year just to keep him around. But mm. then what happens to Madrid? Because it's like, Benz is gone. You've put all your eggs in one basket for 2024 for Mbappe to sign on a free. If Mbappe says no, or let's just say he signs for another club, then what? Are you what? Are you then going to try and go get 31-year-old Kane? Are you going to mm. go and get... Like, I don't think any top striker is going to pop onto the market in the next 12 months. What is the plan? It looks like there's no plan B. It's just plan A is Mbappe, and we're going to stick around and wait for him. And that's mm. that's mess. 100%. And someone said Hendrick's coming <clears throat> at 2024. But yeah, but listen, remember when Vinny came in? When Vinny came in, he never acclimatized straight away. You know, like that. So, Endrick could come in, but it could take him another three years to settle. So, it's one of them ones where Endrick is not a viable option. He's not a viable plan for Real Madrid in the medium term. Long term, looks like a good signing because they, they very seldom get those ones wrong, in it. Like, when, when they get their South American talents and so on and so forth. And I'm sure Endrick will do well, but you can't be relying on Endrick for at least the next three years, bruv. So, man, need to get someone. Like, the youth's like 17 now or something. And I think just 17. Mm. Forget that. <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah. Man can't be looking at no Hendrick, bro. This ain't FIFA. Like, they need someone that's mashing work right now. Someone that's going to score goals, bro. They needed someone, like, in the mold. Real Madrid, like, they're ready-made players. They needed someone, like, in the mold of, like, Lewandowski, bro. Like, ready now to just come in and score goals, pick up where Benzema left off. There's no one, really, that fits that profile in world football apart from maybe Harry Kane, bro. So it's like either they go get Harry Kane or I don't know, fam. It was a hustle thing. I don't know, blood. <laughs> it can't be a hustle thing, bro. Like, because I know men are saying, oh, yeah, he scored goals in La Liga. Cool. When you play for a team and there's no pressure on you, blood, them Madrid, bruv, them Madrid Easters will have them white handkerchiefs out, blood, after three games. Bro, like, my hatch, these men don't understand, you know. Mm. These men are talking nah, nah, nah. about. Um, them men are talking about. Oh yeah, he scored goals and that, bruv. Their man will have the handkerchiefs out, bruv. Listen, one bad performance at the Bernabeu, and these men are whistling, bruv. Bro, it's like I remember watching it. Like I remember watching it when they turned on on Marcelo, and I'm thinking, fam, like no cap, this bro's been your best left back for a whole decade. Like mm. decorated, he's won everything with you, man. I'll never forget. There was like a season. I think halfway through the season, Ronnie must have gone like three games without scoring. And he was already sitting on like 28 goals at the time. Three <laughs> games, it wasn't going for him. Bro, the booze and this and that. And I'm thinking like, like at the time, I was like, yo, you man are crazy. But now when I look back on it, I'm like, I do respect it in a sense where it's mm. like, 
don't let your standards drop regardless. Like what? You've scored 28 goals for man, but why haven't you scored in the last three? Like yeah. something, something's not making sense. And I respect it. And I'll be real. Like, it's no surprise they win every season or they get to the latter stages of the Champions League and this and that. Them man don't let their standards drop for nobody. So with Hosolu, I'll be real. Man's team got relegated. Like uh, he played for Espanyol. They went down. But nah, I, like, I wouldn't be surprised if he just gets that Mariano treatment where it's like, man, we'll play a few games. They realise he's ass. And then they'll just be like, yo, they'll just like turn on Perez or they'll just start <laughs> booing for the whole season. <laughs> Facts, but this is why I feel like they have still got a half an eye on someone else. Obviously, Mbappe don't like playing down the middle, but bro, they need something. You know what I mean? I, I don't believe these Harry Kane rumours because I just can't see Harry Kane going to um, La Liga. Maybe now Jude's there, there, there might be more of a chance of him going there now because at least he's got one player there. But Jude ain't him and ain't even age mates, blood. They're different generation. Jude's a you, you know the man's. Harry Kane's like an old man to him. You know, like that. Ten years is a lot is a big gap, like age gap. That's a different generation. Like Harry Kane's gonna want to go home to his 10 kids, blood, and Jude Bellingham mm -hmm. is gonna want to just be there out in Party. Madrid, fam. You know, like yeah. that. It's not you get me. That's not no comfort knowing that Jude's there. Do you know what I mean? I don't think that Harry Kane makes that move to Real Madrid, but I think for his career and also for Real Madrid, I think that is uh, the perfect match. 